In this video, we'll learn how to use the Layers panel in Illustrator. Several things about layers in Illustrator are unique. And since you'll use them just about every time you use the program, it's really important to know the distinctions. I've got a file here from this week's demo files open with some layered shapes that we can practice with. If you don't see your layers panel, you can bring it up by clicking Window, Layers from the menu bar, or clicking the Layers icon in your panel arrangement. Here, the layer arrangement controls the background to foreground stacking order. So layers on top are in the foreground, layers on the bottom are in the background. We can change that just by clicking and dragging. So I'll move this white bar layer and drop it above the shape array layer. And as you see, I'm getting that blue highlight telling me where that layer is going to land. So now I can see there is a white shape that sits on top of the multicolored shapes. I can hide or show individual layers with the eyeball icon to the far left of each layer's name. I can lock or unlock a layer using the lock checkbox that's just to the right of the eyeball icon. So right now, both these layers are locked down, which prevents any changes. And I'll go ahead and unlock them. We can rename layers just by double clicking on the name. And I'll actually hit Command Z uh, because I don't want to change that name. And I'll also move my white bar layer back to the bottom while I'm at it. Down at the bottom of the Layers panel, we've got a Delete Layer icon and a New Layer icon, which we can use to remove or add or duplicate layers respectively. There's also an icon that lets us create a new sublayer. So one of the unique aspects of layers in Illustrator is that they act like folders that contain groups of artwork elements. If I click the triangular caret icon on a layer's row, I'll expand the contents of the layer. Notice how there's an individual entry for each one of the colored shapes. So a layer itself is just a container. And inside that container might be sublayers with more artwork inside them, grouped artwork, or just individual vector shapes like you see here. We can do most of the same things to layer contents that we could to the main layers themselves, like hide, lock, rename, or delete or duplicate them with the buttons at the bottom of the panel. We can also rearrange the stacking order of individual components just by clicking and dragging. So you can see now how I'm bringing up just this one shape above the rest. I can select multiple layers or sublayers by holding Shift or Command or Control on the keyboard as I click. So looking at the layer contents shows us one of the key differences of working in Illustrator is, for the most part, unless you specifically deliberately combine your vector shapes, everything remains its own discrete object. And that actually makes editing really easy because we can target specific parts of the composition. Each layer will have a highlight color assigned to it. For example, I can see this shape array layer will highlight blue, and this white bar layer is going to highlight red. When I select a shape with the selection tool, I'll see my transform controls are highlighted in that color. That's Illustrator's way of helping you figure out what shape is in what layer. If I wanted to, I could change that highlight color by double-clicking anywhere on the layer that isn't the name or any of the other controls. That brings up our layer options, so I could change the color if I felt like it, but I'll go ahead and just click Cancel. Notice that as I select a shape, some icons are changing at the far right of my layer rows. Here we have a round icon for targeting and a square icon for selection. When we target a shape, that means we're telling Illustrator this is the shape we want to edit. And since our layers work more like folders, it's often important to distinguish whether we're wanting to edit the entire layer or just one component that sits inside that layer. So clicking the target does the same thing as clicking with the selection tool on a shape in the document window. When a shape is targeted, we'll see two concentric circles at the target icon. To the right of that target icon, we've got a square icon that indicates that this artwork is selected. So if I click that caret icon to collapse my layer back down, I can see I get a smaller blue square to the right of the main layer. This is telling me something inside the layer is selected, but the entire layer is not selected. And since the target icon for the main layer isn't active, so I'm not seeing two concentric circles there, this is telling me that some component within this layer is selected and targeted and is going to receive any edits rather than everything in the layer. I can also use that selection icon to move layer components between layers. 
just by clicking and dragging that colored square, I can move the selected artwork to a different main layer. Okay, so that's an overview of how to use the Layers panel in Illustrator.